What story are the charts telling us today? What about Pepe coin, new all-time high? But this needs to happen first. So what needs to happen first before we see new all-time highs? What story can the Pepe chart tell us now? So how far have we retraced? What needs to happen next before we put in that new high? Let's analyze together. So first and foremost, how far have we retraced? We know that we need to retrace back to our 61.8, get a nice healthy bounce for a continuation to the upside. Did we hit the 618? Did we get a reaction from the 618? This is the 618 here. Got a nice bounce off there. We didn't even get a candle closed below there. So that's positive. The next thing that we had that showed us that the balls of regain momentum was the break of this trend line. So we've got a break of trend line here. And then we broke through the trend line with some velocity and it's looking like we're going to go and test the previous all time high. What does this allow for? Where do we protect ourselves? Do we protect ourselves underneath the 618 because we've broken trend now? So protected protection itself is under this high. We've created something here, guys. What is it? We talk about it all the time. An inverse head and shoulders. What's an inverse head and shoulders? A bottoming pattern. How can you measure the velocity of an inverse head and shoulders? Simple. We go from the neckline. There's the neckline to the tip. And then you can measure projections from the break of the neckline. And you can see that we were sitting, or that the targets for this is 0 0.0001168. So what we could do is we can just pop a Fibonacci extension on there and see if that number measures up with anything, because what we want is a five wave move to the upside. This is wave one, there's a wave two, this is a wave three. Have we completed wave three before we have a wave four and then try for the all time high or at least test the previous high. So what we'll do is we'll stick our trusty Fibonacci extension tool from this low, to the high, back down to this low. And what we want is we want a minimum of a one to one equal measured move here. So targets for that are sitting at 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 3. So you've got your protection zone here. You've got your targets up here for an equal measured move. Your 1, 2, 7, 2, which would be more of a healthier wave three is sitting at 1, 1, 40. So we talk about testing support. We talk about testing resistance. Are we likely, if this drops back into trend, to come back down and test this previous resistance to become support? Or is there another key area that we need to hold? You can see this here from the launch on Pepe coin. This is the target that held. And this is the target that we need to keep holding before we see any kind of a full on reversal on Pepe coin. So you can see this 618 was important. It coincided with previous resistance from the launch. We got a nice little touch from there. We got a nice touch from the 618. We've come back up. We created an inverse head and shoulders. We've broken trend and now we're waiting. So that's my thoughts on Pepe. If you did like this, I've got a full playlist full of Pepe. So you can check that out and I'll see you in the next one.